All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We are heading home. It's been a while, so I'm very excited about going home. My wife, two kids, and my two dogs. Going to do some grass mowing, have some fun, uh, and just relax. So in any case, I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about this thing called the Stinger Weapon System. Now, it's very popular, again, these days, uh, in that we are engaging uh, an opposing force that has aircraft, uh, attack helicopters, observation aircraft, they've got transport aircraft. Back in my day, uh, my first MOS was a 16 Sierra, which was a Stinger. So I'm very familiar with this platform. It's, it's a tremendous uh, <laughs> weapon in that it can literally take a platoon size element and anything that it tries to engage them from the air can be taken out. And I mean almost anything. Um, attack helicopters it's huge you got to think about it if you have a platoon size or a company size element and you've got a couple of the stinger guys with you then you know that if in the event that an attack helicopter wants to jump in there uh we can take them out and it's it's scary so what is a stinger stinger is a shoulder fired infrared heat seeking guided missile system which requires no control by the gunner after it is launched the Stinger designed to counterattack of high-performance, low-level aircraft, observation and transport aircraft. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, I had to say that real slow. Uh, it's kind of like you're doing the, the pre-jump when you're a jump master. So, all right. So anyway, uh, yeah. So my first uh, assignment was I was in the 82nd Airborne Division with the 3rd to 4th ADA Bravo Battery, Bravo Bulls. Yes, I remember those guys. Um, so. Uh, what we did is we provided short range air defense, show red, to all the infantry units. So when we would jump in, as a matter of fact, I was part of the, uh, the guys that uh, developed, and well, I didn't develop, we, they used us as test dummies, threw us out of airplanes with these stinger platforms just to make sure that we could jump out safely and land safely, and the system itself wasn't hurt. It was a really cool deal. So uh, fiberglass tube, it's got a, a detachable handle. Um, battery system back in the day they had an IFF identification friend or foe I don't even know if they use that anymore man I got out of the stinger business back in 1991 92 and uh, transitioned over to 11 Bravo don't know what I was thinking uh, well, in any case uh, so you fire this thing from the shoulder uh, it has a heat seeking seeker in it uh, general dynamics and what it did was it'll lock onto an aircraft. Now the difference between like a red eye, which was a predecessor to the Stinger, is that the Stinger was not affected by flare, some flares. So uh, one way or another, it was able to identify, uh, uh, not be cheated out by the signal there. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if that's the case still now, I'm not sure. But I will tell you this, uh, the rule of thumb was if you could see it, you could shoot it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. I was uh, very fortunate that if any of you guys were in the 82nd Airborne Division or the 18th Airborne Corps, if you remember back in 1990, uh, the Russian Defense Prime Minister, Dmitry Yezov, uh, paid a visit with his whole entourage to uh, uh, Fort Bragg. And uh, I was one of the lucky individuals, along, along with one of my other buddies, Ron, uh, was designated to uh, demonstrate the Stinger. So we actually had a day of, that we gave, gave us a Stinger to practice with, which I mean it was a live Stinger that shot the ballistic aerial target called a bat up in the air, boom. And then on the second day, uh, they pulled all up in the line. And uh, I remember uh, Sergeant Major McBride, uh, that was Johnson and Steiner were all there. And uh, yeah, man, we knocked the shit out of those targets. As a matter of fact, we were shooting the, the ballistic arrow targets off of Sicily DZ, and I hit mine so fast that the parts and pieces were falling on the grandstands out on OP5. Wow. Brings back memories, man. What a great day. So, anyway, the Stinger is an amazing uh, piece of weaponry that uh, is just can turn the tide of a battle very easily so it was just one of those things and uh i tell you what man it, it was really neat you uh activated it uh you hit the caging bar elevated uh, lead do whatever you had to do pull the trigger and that thing had an ejection rocket boom as a matter of fact i got one sitting around the house somewhere and i was able to keep it it kicks out about 27 meters and it's gone thing's bad as hell um i do have a i have a friend of mine who actually has the video of us doing that live fire and i gotta get hold of ron <laughs> so in any case 
Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick run through of what a stinger is, man. It's, it's quite heavy. Uh, when we had to roll with the guys in the uh, infantry, uh, we had to man pack that thing, carry it everywhere we went. And uh, I carried one, uh, my gunner carried one. And it was, I would, I would say that I'd rather carry an M60 than a damn stinger any day because it's just so long and awkward. But it is the ultimate in firepower. And after you got done shooting your stinger, guess what? You became an infantryman just like everybody else. And uh, that's the end of the day. So with that being said, guys, I hope this was entertaining. Oh, just an upcoming video. I do have the, uh, the Econ rifle, the medium build, and the premium build. Um, I've got four to 16 scopes on each one of them so that we can take them out. I want to shoot a 55 grain, 62 grain, 69, and a 77 through each one of them just to see how the, the barrels relate to one another because you have, uh, I've got the Hansa pre pre uh, premium barrel on there. I've got a uh, Blisk Advantage, uh, just a military profile, and then we got a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel, which if you remember a long time ago, I did a test on that guy, the 77 grain, it shot a sub in my way. It was really impressive. Well, with that, that's the Stinger Weapon System. Man, what a great time I had with that. Uh, it was really neat. We have to travel all over the world with that thing. So uh, with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I'm out of here. You'll be good. Peace.